Considering investing in cryptocurrency? What you need to know about the new tax reporting rules? The Internal Revenue Service will no longer rely on an honor system when it comes to reporting cryptocurrency trades. Beginning in tax year 2023, any transactions involving potentially taxable digital assets will be reported to the agency by a third party. If you've ever worked or invested in stocks, you're well aware that your earnings are reported to the federal government. This is because both you and the IRS receive a W-2 form from your employer, which details your annual earnings, and a Form 1099 from your broker, which details your stock transactions. However, there have been no comparable third-party reporting requirements for cryptocurrency transactions and transfers, or for any other digital asset, such as NFTs, until now. However, the recently passed infrastructure bill includes provisions requiring crypto industry participants who broker digital asset transactions to issue 1099Bs for their customers' accounts, which you will begin receiving in early 2024 for transactions occurring in 2023. Additionally, in an effort to make money laundering more difficult, the new law requires businesses to report to the IRS whenever they receive more than $10,000 in cryptocurrency in a single transaction, or in two or more related transactions, just as they must when they receive more than $10,000 in cash. Willful failure to comply with this requirement may be prosecuted as a federal felony. These new reporting requirements will have a number of implications for investors who trade digital assets. You cannot maintain your anonymity. The new reporting requirements benefit crypto investors in two ways. First, they demonstrate that crypto is here to stay. Additionally, given the difficulty of keeping track of all your transactions, obtaining a 1099 may be beneficial. However, the disadvantage will be a loss of anonymity for those who wish to keep their transactions private for personal reasons or who have not complied with their tax obligations. When you open a bank or brokerage account, you are required to provide a large amount of personal information that is cross-checked to ensure you are who you claim to be. Among other things, you must provide your legal name, address, phone number, and social security or other taxpayer identification number. However, when creating cryptocurrency-related accounts, the information requested varies by platform. Until this year, it was fairly common to open a cryptocurrency account or digital wallet with just your name and email, Erin Fenimore, Head of Information Reporting at TaxBit, a cryptocurrency tax software provider, explained. That will change in a number of instances by 2023. You will be asked for personal information that you have most likely never been asked for previously, Fenimore explained. And the platforms that are required to report on your transactions must verify that you are who you claim to be. Additionally, when a digital asset is transferred from one broker to another, the transferring broker must provide the receiving broker with a statement that includes the transferred assets basis and holding period information in order for the receiving broker to comply with its 1099 reporting requirements. What constitutes reportable events? Not all cryptocurrency transactions will require third-party reporting, as not all cryptocurrency transactions will result in a taxable event. Simply purchasing cryptocurrency is not taxed or reportable under the law. You must take action with it, such as selling or exchanging it according to Fenimore. However, because a reporting entity may not have all of the information necessary to complete a transaction, it will be a practical challenge to always have the tax basis for each trade or transfer, according to Christopher Mara, an associate in Baker McKenzie Zurich's fintech group. For instance, you could send Bitcoin from one of your non-custodial digital wallets to a reputable cryptocurrency exchange and then sell it from that account. The cost basis for the sale may be zero or the price on the day you transferred the currency, not the price on the day you purchased it. 
As a result, you'll need to explain to the IRS why the data on your 1099 is incorrect. Ultimately, it is the taxpayer's responsibility to report the correct tax basis on their personal tax returns, Murrah said. Who is responsible for reporting? According to some in the cryptocurrency industry, the law is written in such a broad manner that various players, such as miners and software providers, could be defined as brokers even if they are not involved in the brokering of a taxable transaction. If that is the case, those who may have been incorrectly classified may face massive reporting obligations, as Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong stated on Twitter. Similarly, there is a lack of clarity regarding what constitutes a business for the purposes of reporting large single transactions. Because this is a new industry, it's difficult to predict what regulators will consider to be a business, Murrah said, noting that it's unclear how decentralized finance, DeFi, activities, staking pools, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs, may be classified. However, greater clarity is expected when the Treasury Department issues regulations outlining how the law's reporting requirements should be interpreted and implemented. A senior Treasury official stated that the department has been in discussions with industry participants to clarify which types of entities should be classified as brokers, traders, and businesses for reporting purposes, noting that it is highly improbable that miners would ever be considered brokers. The department is prioritizing the development of those regulations, which will be issued in the coming months, the official said. When they are, a public notice and comment period will be held prior to the rules being finalized.